Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today we're actually going to be trying to design a World War I tank. Now as you guys can see right here, this is our previous build, which was designed around the Rolls Royce uh, armored car, which actually turned out quite well. I think this thing looks awesome, it actually worked really well as well, so uh, I actually think this one was a success. Anyway, today we're going to build something from World War I. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call it the slug and uh, we'll see if we can build it. So let's get to it shall we? Okay, so let's start a new hole and uh, let's just get to it So this is our new hole. We're gonna go to freeform and we're gonna do this Apparently there are no fenders on it already So that's good and we're gonna go to fuel and get rid of that as well straight away Now let's go to World War one that is the technology we will be using and it's kind of weird <laughs> It's kind of weird, but anyway, let's start with the tracks and see what we can come up with so I want it so that it's quite big at the front, but it goes down towards the back, and uh, I guess we'll have quite a big sprocket at the back too. The length of it is going to be like 10 meters long, which is insane, but that is what we're going to do. Uh, actually, let's go with like 8.5. 8.5. I don't want it to be quite as long as it was. Uh, so there you go. Separation, we're going to go with 2 meters, and we're going to go ahead and make the width of it a lot less as well. So we're going to go with 400. Bosh, there we go. That actually looks like it'll work pretty good. So uh, we'll keep it. We will keep it. Nice. Okay, next thing. Uh, idler wheel, that is going to come up here like this. We're going to go ahead and make the diameter of that actually quite large. And we're going to go ahead and bring this guy up and forwards, because that's how I want it to be. So that's going to go all the way up to there. This is going to go up to here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and bring this in a little bit. And we're going to make this sprocket a little bit bigger too. I know it looks a little bit strange. But that's kind of how I want it to be. Is it weird? Yes. Is it going to work? Maybe. That is, um, that is where I want to leave it. So, I'm happy with that. Okay, so now that that's been done then, let's go to thickness and make it actually really thick. We're going to go to 150. There we go. Awesome. Uh, let's go to the actual track segments and make them these guys. And that is what it's going to be. The length of each of these is actually going to be quite long as well, because I think that'll work. And yeah, I think that does actually look pretty awesome. Return rollers, we're going to go ahead and make a little bit bigger too. So if I can, diameter of these guys, quite big. Bring them backwards, bring this guy upwards a little bit. Make sure they all fit together, and that looks awesome. Okay, cool. Um, all of these guys are actually going to fit on the inside as well. So if I can, width of these is going to fit to the interior of that. There we go. Uh, width of the road wheels, exactly the same. I need it to fit to the interior, which it can't actually, which is very annoying. Uh, but we'll bring this out until it looks like it fits. There we go. And we'll also get the idler and do the same thing. So get rid of this, but then also make it quite wide so that it looks like it fits. Bosh. There we go. That is um, weird looking, but also awesome. Okay, so uh, I guess the next thing that we actually need to do is uh, decide what these guys are actually going to be like. So the road wheels themselves, I am actually going to go ahead and make the diameter of those a lot less, which seems a little bit strange, but that is how we're going to do it. Uh, I'm also going to raise this up, which means I'm going to raise this up, which means I'm going to raise this up as well. There we go. Quite a lot of raising up has just happened, but it does look like it's going to look amazing. Okay, so where do we go from here? Well, uh, let's go ahead and actually make this boxy very little. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and build it off of this. So the front end is going to be built in, but be very round. The rear is also going to be built in and sort of round off. No, actually, the back is probably going to be square. But we're going to do it in different sections. So the rear is going to look like this. Um, actually very boxy, and that's okay. We're then going to grab both of these, bring them out like so. And I'm actually going to go ahead and extend them like this which then allows us to extend this out the back and hopefully make this back end look quite nice. Whether that's actually going to work or not, who knows. But I think we can leave it just like that. That's good. Okay, so from there, we're going to go ahead and actually extend this out the side. Essentially, the reason I'm doing this is because um, I'm going to make the outside... I don't know what it's called, actually. Oh my goodness. What has just happened? <laughs> the tracks just fell off. Okay, so unfortunately, we can't actually use these track segments, which means I think we're going to just have to go with these ones, which obviously isn't what we want, uh, but I don't think these ones are buggy, so that's good. Anyway, um, this is uh, to actually do the outside armor. I know it's a little bit of a strange way of doing it, but that is the way that I want to do it, so that is the way that I'm going to do it. Uh, so there you go. I've extended it out 
Uh, so we don't have to armor up the inside of this side and the inside of that side. Um, and yeah, we've just got a block on the front. Um, I feel like it makes sense anyway, so that's good. Anywho, let's go ahead and uh, build these guys forwards, shall we? So, extend this. Yes. Bring it forwards like so. That's good. Um, I don't know quite how I'm going to do it, actually, but we'll figure it out. So grab this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Um, we'll actually do it in different segments. So I'm actually just going to extend this guy upwards uh, quite a lot to about there. Yeah, I don't mind that. That's good. And then we're going to go ahead and build all of these guys on, and hopefully it'll look good in the end. So extend it forwards, do this, and squidge it a little bit. There we go. Awesome. Go ahead and do it again, and squidge it a little bit more. There we go. Awesome again. Continue, and continue squidging. There's going to be a hell of a lot of squidging. Sorry, guys. Sorry, you guys have to witness this. So much squidging. There we go. And honestly, what does that look like? Yeah, a little bit weird, but I suppose uh, we'll actually have it be smooth uh, once it's actually in. So it won't be too terrible. It won't be too, 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 too bad. Uh, but there you go. Okay, that is actually pretty awesome so far. Okay, so now it's time to build in the sides. Let's go ahead and extend this guy upwards, just like this. So actually whack that in all the way to the top. Go to points, grab this guy, this guy, and this guy, and send those guys downwards, um, like so. Okay. A little bit odd, actually, but I think we can get it working. Then go to faces. We're going to extend these guys forwards. So extend this like so, bring it forwards to there, where we can then start building it in normally. Actually, hang on. Do, 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 do. Send it backwards so it doesn't quite mash in with the bottom piece. That's good. And then we should be able to get away with doing this. So we extend these guys. We're going to go ahead and bring this one up from the bottom. There we go. And continue it. So this guy, this guy, this guy. Extend. Okay, awesome. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and bring it out quite a bit. Grab this guy, this guy, and this guy, and send it upwards like so. And send this guy down. Not yet, actually. Not yet. But yeah, I'm just going to essentially just keep extending this um, until we've got it built in the right way. So um, yeah, I guess I'll be back in a second once we've got this sorted. Okay, so it took a little while, but uh, I think we've actually got it in quite a nice little place right there. I honestly don't think that looks terrible, so I think we're going to go ahead and keep it. Uh, it will drive like this, so don't you worry about that. The tracks look a little bit skinny, but again, that doesn't really matter. Um, I'm happy with it, actually. I'm really happy with it. Okay, so I guess we can actually pretty much leave uh, the, the bottom as it is. So now all I'm going to do is actually start decorating it. So where would the driver actually go on a World War I machine like this one? Well, I think, actually, probably right in the center. Which means we now need to start splitting things. So split this here. Split it again. There we go. And now we've got our little place where our driver will sit, which is actually around here. So let's build a little weird box thingy-mabobby for them to sit in. And um, yeah, make them sit in it. That is uh, precisely what I want to do. So grab these guys. There we go. All the way across if I can. And bring... Oh, what have I done there? Hang on. Just this one, this one, and this one. Yeah, I accidentally grabbed a different piece before. That was weird. All right, grab this guy, this guy, and the other side will come with it. And we can do this. All right, looks a little bit strange, but that is where we'll keep the driver. I say keep the driver. That sounds a little bit like they're trapped, like a prisoner. But they're not, I promise. They're, they're, they might be. They might be a little bit. Wait, what has gone on here? There's some sort of weird... <laughs> some sort of weird shaping has gone on on the side, and I don't know where that came from. But I'm sure it's fine. Right? Sure, it's fine. Okay, let's go ahead and raise this up a little tiny touch. And there we go. Okay, I'm actually just going to go ahead and raise this up by itself. Boom. Boom! There we go. That actually doesn't look too terrible. We'll keep it. Okay, so driver's view is going to go directly on there. We're actually going to go ahead and have two of them. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and flip. Oh, you can't actually flip these. I don't know how to flip them. So I guess we'll just keep them as they are. But we'll actually just extend both of them so they look like they're one. Uh, and I think that doesn't actually look too bad. Yeah. I mean, already I would be kind of scared if this thing was rolling towards me. So I think that is success. Um, at, at least. A little bit. At least a little bit of success right there. Okay, cool. So now that we've done that then, let's go ahead and add a hatch on the top of this. Which is going to be quite small, but also very wide. There we go. So they could get in and out. That makes sense. Um, I also actually want to add a turret to the top of this. I don't know how well it's going to look, or what it's going to look like. 
But I think a turret would actually make a lot of sense up there. Um, we're also just going to add some doors back here. These doors are huge. But, um, I mean, the tank itself is huge, so I guess that's fine. <laughs> I guess that's completely normal. Uh, right, let's go ahead and make this a little bit skinnier. But also whack it on there and make it really tall. Yeah, we can actually just whack this on here like this. Awesome. I mean, realistically, I would, uh, I would actually really like to change the back end of this to look a little bit different. But at the same time, I don't actually think it looks terrible, so we'll just leave it as is. Anyway, engine, vents, yes, we're gonna go with these guys. I'm gonna actually have two massive ones of these. Um, one to one side and obviously one to the other. But we're gonna flip this one around so it looks normal. And we're also gonna grab both of them and somehow angle them. Oh no, I don't want them angled the same way, hang on. Oh, not even that much. Only a little tiny bit, there we go. Kinda like this. Then I'm gonna go ahead and drop it down so that it fits inside there. What does this look like like this? Oh, that's a chunky boy. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. Let's go ahead and lower it down and even though it's chunky. And uh, that looks awesome. Okay, so I did actually smack some, uh, some fans in there as well because I thought fans just make a little bit of sense. Uh, I'm also just going to go ahead and smack these guys on the rear, whacked in with each other. That's good. If I could flip these, that would actually be awesome. Awesome. Actually, wait, 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 wait. If I can flip both of them... And then we can flip it, actually, we can just leave it like that. Uh, kind of, but if we put it at the bottom, that would make more sense. So let's go ahead and put it at the bottom, there we go, and that looks really good too. I'm actually just going to go ahead and add a big fan on the back as well. Um, on each side, just like so. And we'll also actually go back into crew, and add another crew hatch on the rear, which is just going to look like this. But obviously I want it to be like that. There we go, okay. Awesome. Doesn't look too terrible. The back end doesn't look amazing though, but we'll leave it as is because that's the way we've got it. So there you go. Uh, stowages. Okay, stowages are kind of important on this one. Because it's a World War I themed thing, uh, stowages like this are actually very important. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and smack a big row of them there uh, because, you know, they're important. You know? Very important. I'm also actually just going to go ahead and shove them on the front too. Um, just here. There we go. And I'm also actually just going to go ahead and shove them in. So it's going to look like this. A um, little bit odd, yes. But does it work? Also, probably yes, I guess. So let's go ahead and shove this into there. If we can. There, there we go. Okay, good. Going to go ahead and move this across a little bit. And sure. I mean, it looks a little bit weird to begin with. But I think we can get away with it. Also going to go ahead and shove this guy on here as well. Push it backwards until it fits, and that is awesome. Yes. Okay. Again, very weird, but also fine. Right, it's time. It's time for our little thing that we always do. Let's go ahead and shove this backwards into there. Yes. Go ahead and do this, in fact. Oh, my. Yeah, into there. Very good. Go ahead and stretch it out wide. I don't mind the overlap. I actually think that looks kind of cool. Um, so there we go. Going to have that big bulky thing underneath there, and that looks awesome. Okay, these guys are also going to be added underneath here to add a little bit of extra detail, just like so. Bosh. And the front is actually starting to take shape. It looks, it looks really good. Okay, so with that being said, can I actually try and mount one of these guys into the front end? I, d I don't know whether I'm going to be able to, but like, it'd be awesome if I could. So let's say we make it actually kind of small. We go ahead and we push it down, just like this, and we bring it forwards like so. Like, what if, what if there was actually a gun mounted there? Does that look weird? Does that look weird or does that look cool? I want to say it looks cool, to be honest. Okay, so I added a few little things there. I've added these weird antenna things that go into the front end. I actually think that looks kind of cool, so that's why I've done those. Uh, I also added these tools at the back right here, and that is it. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go rivet crazy, and I'm going to add rivets literally all over this thing. Uh, and I think that will make it a lot, lo a lot better looking. So let's get to it. Okay, rivets have been added. This has taken me actually a really long time, but they are there. So we've added rivets down the side. I haven't put them in like, I, I say straight lines. I have put them in straight lines, but not in the way that you would think, I guess. Um, so yeah, I actually think they look good in this sort of, in this sort of orientation. I, I'm also going to add an extra detail to that as well, so we will do that in a second. Uh, but I do think the rivets actually look pretty good where they are. So that's good. Anyway, 
Now what I'm going to do is actually go to these guys, and I'm going to start actually adding these in as well. Now, I don't know how well this is going to work, but essentially I'm going to try and uh, line these up and shove them in. Um, yeah, I don't know how well it's going to work, as I just said, but yeah, we'll see. So let's go ahead and push this into there like this. And yeah, you know what? I don't actually, I don't think that's bad. So let's go ahead and push this one in as well. There we go. I don't know how much of it we need to push in. Or how far it needs to go in, but yes, I'm somewhat okay with that. There we go. Okay, it's a bit weird. It is a bit weird. Um, and I don't know how many of them to actually do, but yeah. Okay, sure. So I've just gone ahead and whacked all of those guys on. I'm now going to go ahead and do a similar thing with these ones. I'm going to whack them next to each other, and hopefully we can just smack them in, I guess. So get rid of this guy, go ahead and grab this guy and this guy, and move it this way. And then push it in, I guess? I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, so let's just go with this one to begin with. Go ahead and bring it this way. And lower it down and in. There we go. Okay, yeah, a bit weird, but sure. Go ahead and lower this one down, and move it slightly this way. There we go, and we can leave that like that. Again, the sides are a little bit strange if we are going to do it this way, but since we are already doing it this way, I guess it's going to be how it is. So there you go. Okay. What do we think of that? A little bit strange, but it works. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, what I'm also going to do, actually, is add a little bit of a hatch on the side as well, just in case we need to get in and out. We're going to just go ahead and smack it on here, like this. And the other thing that I wouldn't mind doing as well is actually adding this to the side. Now, I know that's very strange, but I, uh, I think it fits. I think it'll work. Oh, and the other thing as well, I'm actually just going to go ahead and add a log above all of these guys, because, again, I do think that works as well. So, I'm actually quite happy with the way this is going. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and attach this guy down to here, and I'm going to do the same or similar thing right there as well. Okay, good. We've added a lot of detail to the side, which I am actually happy about. That is brilliant. Okay, I'm then going to go backwards, and I'm going to shove this on the side too. And I'm going to go ahead and shrink it. Or squidge it, I should say. Squidging has been done. I'm going to go ahead and shove it up there like that. And uh, that is the same on the other side, and I'm happy with it. I am happy with it! Okay, that is it. That's all I really want. Um, this line, I guess we could actually attach one of these guys underneath here. Uh, but on the other side, it's going to be s the opposite way around. But that doesn't actually look too bad, so we'll keep it. We will actually keep it. Yeah. Okay, so what is something else that I wouldn't mind adding uh, that actually adds a little bit of detail? Well, it is this right here. So, let's go ahead and swing this around like so. Go ahead and bring it out slightly like this. And also go ahead and make it a lot longer. Um, and that actually makes the back end look really cool. So let's lower this down until it sort of fits. And as soon as it does fit, we'll leave it as is. Okay, we'll leave it like that. Cool. Um, the only other way that we could use one of those as well is actually on the rear. Because this is based off a of World War One thing where we're going to have to cross trenches, I guess it actually makes sense to have them. So let's move them upwards, move them inwards, and we'll actually just leave them like this. Yeah. They might get us a little bit stuck though. Not sure. Uh, but maybe. Anyway, let's go ahead and start adding some of these D-rings so we can actually move ourselves around. Going to go ahead and shove one there as well. And we're going to shove them in other places too, like this. And yeah, I mean, I guess that works. We'll put one there as well. And we need to put some across the front. So one's going to go there. Good. One's going to go here. And one's going to go... Actually, get rid of that one. One's going to go there on the front. And we'll also actually just add two to the side of this. I know it's a very odd place to have them. But we will have them there. Cool. Okay, ladders, guys. Ladders. Uh, I'm actually just going to go ahead and make the ladders big enough to join these guys sort of together. And then I'm going to go ahead and make these guys go onto there, just like so. And I'm actually just going to have these joined together, just like that. Honestly, adds a bit of detail. Looks okay. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Blammo. Okay. Uh, I'm also just going to whack one down here and one directly above it. Good. Okay, so, I guess I'm going to go ahead and save this as is, and we are now going to add an actual turret to the tank. So let's go ahead and shove this guy directly on top of here, like so. Um, that is going to look okay there, actually. We'll move it backwards till it's, like, sort of right, I guess. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and raise the height of this to be quite high, and we're going to go ahead and go to the faces, and 
I guess we're gonna get all of these somewhat right, I, I, I guess. So bring this out to here, nice. And um, yeah, we're gonna extend these guys outwards. We're gonna shove them together so uh, that it makes, I was gonna say a circle, but not quite a circle. We're just gonna do something like this. And we're gonna go and extend this guy off the back where we will continue the circle bit. Okay, so circularize it, circularize it and leave that like that. We're then going to do the same thing right here, but we're not going to make it fully circled around the outside. Yeah, so the front edge is going to be round, the rear is going to be round, but the side going to be quite flat. Okay, so I'm actually going to go ahead and lower all this down into there, kind of. There we go. We're then going to go ahead and actually smooth all this off as well. And we're going to then going to extend it. Yes. We're going to raise the height of the ring to cover that kind of thing. And we're going to raise this up like so. Um, I think we can get away with adding a bit of a back end to it, uh, maybe, so let's go ahead and extend these guys, bring them backwards like so, and squidge them in a little bit, there we go. Okay, that actually looks pretty awesome. Uh, we are going to have to add like a bunch of rivets to this, but we can do that, and then we're going to have to add a gun as well, which of course we can also do, so yeah, let's do it. Okay, so as I said, I have now added some detail to it. Uh, I said I was going to add rivets, and I have, uh, I've definitely done so. We've added a lot of rivets. I'm now going to go ahead and attach these guys to it, which is something I like adding now is actually just ladders, but sideways. I, I don't know why, uh, but I think they actually look really cool. They add something to turrets, and um, yeah, I, I, they just work. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and attach these guys to the bottom and the top of there as well, and um, we're also just going to attach one of them. One of them? One of them. No. One there, and also one here. There we go. Okay, awesome. The other thing we actually desperately need as well is actually a commander's cupola, so we're just going to go ahead and make this quite wide. Uh, it's going to go in the center, which I guess isn't the best, um, and we're going to go ahead and shrink it down a little bit too, so... Yeah, that's actually really cool. Uh, from there, we're actually... Um, I don't know what we should add, actually. Maybe some lights on the turret as well. That might look a little bit strange, but sure. Uh, and we're also just going to go ahead and attach one of these guys as well. Uh, that's going to go there. Okay, I am actually kind of happy with this. So now all we need is an actual gun. And, um, yeah, armor. And then that's it. Okay, firepower, mantlet, yes, we're going to go with this guy because I think it's awesome. We're going to make it actually quite large, and there we go. It is going to be a World War One gun, so we've got to remember that. Um, and yeah, we're going to make the barrel length two meters long. And then we're going to fit the gun to that. So even though this might be huge for World War One, we're going to go ahead and do it. There we go. Okay, actually, we can lower this down as long as we increase this. So... There you go. Penetration, 76 millimeters. That seems like it'll be great for us. Um, yeah, good. Okay, let's go ahead and add a gunner's sight to this as well. Here we go. Instead of adding it directly above the gun, we will add it to the side. And I will have to turn this around a little bit so that we can actually shoot in a straight line. Otherwise, we'll have some issues. So there you go. Okay, nice. Yeah, this is looking awesome. Alright, so mobility is going to be a massive, massive issue on this one. We're going to make a twin transmission. Good. We're going to go to engine. It is going to be as big as it possibly can be, which is insane, but sure. Uh, we're going to make this something like 700. We're going to make this something like 500. And go. Idle can't be 800. Okay, here we go. I mean, it's moving, so I mean, we can't ask much more than it moves. So there you go. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Alright, so now we need ammunition. So let's go ahead and grab some ammunition. It is going to go in the rear of the turret, uh, if possible. And we're going to make quite a lot of it. There you go. Lower that down so it's on the inside. Go ahead and add two more of these on the outside. And they're going to go down and into here like so. Alright. It fires. Reload time isn't actually that, that long. Fires again. Excellent. Oh, this will totally work. Okay, so, uh, what do we always do on these? Well, we always go to decals, and we always go to this, and we always have it across the front end. That is, uh, what we always do. So that's what we're gonna do this time. Gonna go ahead and shove it on there. Gonna go ahead and make it real big. And, uh, we'll leave it like that. Yes, it looks weird, especially with these turrets on the side. I guess it would look more normal if I did remove the turrets, but do I want to? I don't know. I, I mean, I don't. 
I don't want to remove them, but if it comes to it, I will, but that's fine for now. Okay, good. Uh, the other thing then is actually a livery. So let's go to paint. What kind of paint would this thing kind of have? I don't know. I don't really know. Um, metallic? A little bit. Hue? Yeah, let's go with... Let's go with like quite a sandy... Quite a sandy looking thing. Kind of like... Kind of like that, but not really. You know? There, like that. Yeah, we'll go with this color. Looks a little bit strange, but sure. Yeah, we'll roll with that. We'll roll with it. Okay, so back to compartments. Armor thickness, massive. Basket space, huge. Um, and there you go. That's kind of all we need. It's kind of upsetting spaghetti that we've got so much room in this thing, but um, yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. So let's go to faces, and we're going to armor up the front end. It is going to be... Um, in fact, actually, let's go ahead and select all of it. And let's just have it be a beast. Okay? Maximum armor possible. All done. Select all of this. Maximum armor possible. All done. We're ready to go. Alright, I can't I can't say whether we're gonna be able to complete this mission today or not, but it is no tanks land. Let's go ahead and drive our way into the into it and uh, see what kind of damage we can do. Now we do weigh a lot. We actually weigh um very many tons. <laughs> But also, the Mark IV weighed, what, like 30 tons or something like that? So, I want to say weighing 40 tons isn't too inconceivable. Is that the word? I guess that's the word. Um, yeah. This might take us 10 years to do, though. It might take us 10 years. We need to see if it'll cross the trench, though, so bear with me. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I made a bit of a mistake. Um, I actually ended up stopping, and when you stop, Trying to move forwards again is a pain in the butt. <laughs> uh, our gear ratios are uh, are a little bit whack. But, um, yeah. Okay, right. Let's change that a little bit and see if we can at least get it moving a little bit nicer. So, transmission? Yes. Uh, we're going to go with, like, with actually, like, really big gears. Let's go with six. Uh, our top speed, then, is eight kilometers an hour. But we should be able to move a little bit more freely. And I do think that is actually the case, so that's good. Also, to be fair, this thing is called the Slug, so the fact that it is so slow actually just makes sense. Um, and the other thing as well I do want to add is the World War I tracks are not actually available, which it's actually really annoying because I think it would look really, really cool with those. Um, but yeah, obviously they are they're a little bit buggy at the moment. Their artillery has just fired off, and we are still driving towards the danger. So, if their artillery, for some reason, lands on me, uh, I will die. But I, I think it's all landed, so we're going to continue. As soon as our artillery lands, they're going to fire again, and I am going to be in the danger zone. Because we are going pretty much our top speed right now, but we, uh, <laughs> we're nowhere near safety. In fact, their artillery has just been fired. We will see it. Presumably land on top of us any second now. Uh, oh, it's scary. Oh, it's actually all landing quite far that way now. It used to land around here, but it's not today. That's weird. All right, here we go. Can we get across? Our trench? Yes. Oh, we can drive across the first trench. Easy peasy. Nice. Oh, this is working. Okay, I don't know whether there's, like, uh, guns about. I feel like there is, so I'm going to have to watch out. Uh, is that? Yep, yeah, an AT gun is trying to fire at me. Oh, I aim too low. It is trying to shoot me. There we go, I got it. Nice. I mean, it's lucky that I even thought about those even being a thing. I think there's another one right there. If I seen the, uh, the muzzle flash correctly, which I believe I did. Yeah, there's another one. Oh, uh, yep, I got it as well. Nice. Our World War One slug is working. It's going. Would you trust in the slug? I actually think I would. I don't know if I would want to get inside of one, but I think I would trust it if I was like a little bit of infantry stuck in that hole. I would, I'd trust this thing. Um, but yeah, I really wouldn't want to be that little infantry sat in that hole, to be honest. Oh my, wait, our artillery now lands in the middle. Oh, that's really spooky. Is that another gun? I think that's another gun. Are we going to make it over this trench? Oh boy. Yeah, we are. We're going to make it over this trench fine. Nice. Okay, is there another gun? Yeah, there's a gun. He's trying to shoot us, but missing. 
Aimed high and shot him in the face. I can't fall in this hole. <laughs> that would be really bad. Oh. Yeah, so we've got friendly artillery and enemy artillery to deal with here. Um, so I'm just going to have to tank it either way, I think. Oh, boy. Okay, that was close. Now our artillery is going to fire. This is spooky. I don't like it. Oh. Oh. Okay, right. Now their artillery is going to fire. And I'm going to be right in the middle of it. Yep, they've just fired. Okay. It's time for me to die, I think. Oh, boy. I just got to get lucky. Ouch. Okay, keep driving. Uh-oh. Our artillery is now firing. And their enemy tanks have spawned. Oh, I fired to a... Ooh, that landed right in front of me. That legit landed right in front of me. There's so many enemy tanks here. There's so many of them. They're all hitting me. Okay, that guy's dead. I am in the... D yeah, I was going to say, I'm in the danger zone. The artillery destroyed me. Oh, yikes. Okay, so turns out this thing actually too slow, but kind of cool still, isn't it? It is kind of a cool design. I like it. I like it. What we might have to do next time is actually design some sort of whippet tank. If you guys don't know what it is, have a little Google. Um, and yeah, we might design something like that. But honestly, I really don't like doing this map. But um, this was cool. This was very cool. Anyway, how about we actually go into an interwar map and see if we can win that. Okay, so the only map we actually really have is, uh, is Ambush. So there is two of us versus six enemy tanks. Now... I don't know how all this is going to go, to be honest. My guns are very slow. My tanks themselves are very slow. But I think they do actually pack some sort of a punch, you know? I think we can kill these tanks very easily. Um, it's just whether or not we can uh, we can deal with their shots on us. Which, again, I, I do th feel like we can. So we might actually win this one. We'll see. We will see. Okay, there's an enemy there. All right, he's dead, actually. The other enemy is actually like a World War I beast. Uh, and that is what we're going to have to deal with. I don't know where the last guy is, though. Like, the second to last guy? I'm not sure where they are. Are they up there with them? No. Okay, this is going to be tricky. If we don't know where this guy is, uh, he can flank us and kill us. Uh, which would be awful. But that's what they're going to do, probably. Maybe? I don't see him. I don't see him anywhere. We might just have to deal with this guy instead. Oh boy, here he comes. Okay, that bounced off. Oh, I think we can go through. Ow! He's like killed my driver. He's reversing away as he always does. Okay, I'm just gonna fire as much as I can because I can't drive anywhere anymore. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep firing. Okay, I don't know whether we'll be able to kill him. I'm gonna try and track him instead. Here we go. Turn to the right and track him. Oh, it works! Which means he's gonna turn sideways. And then three, two, one. Oh, I missed. Oh, oh, I think he's dead. I think we've got him here. I think we've got him here. Come up. Yes, okay, nice. Uh, and now we just have to find the other guy. I genuinely don't know where he is. But there is another tank somewhere. He's an enemy tank. I feel like I just heard it, but I... Oh, there it is. There it is. He's coming over the hill. Is it a monster? Is it a monster? What if he kills us? He won't kill us. He's on fire. He's going to die. Three, two, one. Oh, he died anyway. He died anyway. Nice. All right, cool. Well, anyway, um, this is actually a really fun tank to build. Uh, if you guys want to see any more tanks built like this one or anything else... Let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see, and I'll see what I can do. But anyway, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.